Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so today is September 20th, 2018. We are going to be walking the property at 844 Hollinsworth. Um, this is an adorable property, so there's going to be lots of excitement in my voice because this is a super cool rental. Uh, and we're going to start right now with the front yard landscaping. So perfect for a rental. There's nothing we really need to take care of. These are all on bubble drip systems. Tree is very healthy. It's great for shade as I'm standing in it. Um, there are some Malibu lights right here. We are going to put in the lease that these are as is. These become very unpredictable. Tenants like them, but to actually fix them all the time is, is sort of like the, that wheel that never stops. So if the tenants like it and they want to fix it if it stops, that's great. If they don't, and we don't have to, and that's the big key. So that's why these are going to be as is in the lease. Everything else, tenants will maintain, which is pretty much just pulling weeds. All right, so let's come on in through here. There are two little doggies. They are harmless, but we're gonna make sure that as we get into the house that we shut the door really fast so that they don't go run in. So again, a couple of those Malibu lights we were speaking of right here, those are just as is items. Solar screens on all the windows. Normally, <laughs> I would say pull these solar screens off, but because I know what kind of property this is going to appeal to, I actually like the solar screens on. So on this case, we're going to leave them on. So we're going to quickly come in through here. We're going to make sure no doggies are no. All right, they are restrained. That's great. And now we are safe. Okay, so we are walking into the living room, dining room area of the property. Behind you, you're going to see some draperies that are going to stay. We call them accent draperies. Not necessary for any kind of, um, you know, to stop the sun exposure because behind it, you've got your normal blinds. If these get dirty, worn out within the first tenancy, we will remove them and then we will just leave the blinds on the windows. Love this ceiling fan. It does have a remote. The remote will be mounted right over here so that way we won't lose it. Love the cool little new dining room light fixture there. So in this, I don't know how much you can tell in the video, but this the walls look great throughout the whole house. They are a bit of a peach undertone. We normally go with a beige undertone. This is going to be fine though. Since the walls look so great, um, I have instructed John just to do touch up wherever necessary. So we are going to leave the walls the color that they are. Carpet is in good shape. It will need a detailed cleaning. So we'll get the, the carpet done, but I don't see any big stains that are causing any concern. We're going to come on into the kitchen. So the fun thing about this kitchen, there's a bird behind me, so it's not me squawking. Um, here in this kitchen, it is the whitewash cabinets. That is a bit dated, but these cabinets are in such good shape. I don't want to mess with them right now. In the future, when it is time that we want to update this kitchen, we could do either a dark cabinet finish or we could go white and then we can accentuate it with true granite countertops. These are for mica, but again, they are in such good shape. They look great. Love how they added the extra deep stainless steel sink with the gooseneck faucet. So in reality, we're gonna go with everything that is here. Appliance, countertop, cabinet, sink, all good to go. So that is a huge plus because that's usually where the money comes in. In here we have our family room, a little bit of a breakfast bar area. Somebody might actually use this as the dining room and then use that as more of the great room. So this floor plan gives you a couple options. One thing I do want to note, our fireplace, which is normally a gas log fireplace, has no gas log. So what we're going to do is we are not going to install any. We are going to make this just a kind of a focal piece. Somebody can put cute little candles in there. They can put little vases in there. They can do whatever they want to decorate it, but it is not a functioning fireplace at this time. So if in case a tenant comes in and that is like a big ticket item for them, maybe we would do something. It is already pre-plumbed for it. It just doesn't have the gas walls. All right, we also have a great ceiling fan in here, another great light fixture that I think adds some personality. We may have to be doing some touch-up painting with all the TVs that are gonna be gone. This is one of them. There's also one in the master. Out back is really the only place that I see we may have to do some investing. So let's go out back and take a look. 
So it is a very tranquil, very pretty backyard. It's about, I don't know, 9.45 today, and you can see lots of shade. Um, this is a really great backyard. Lots of single stories behind you, no big two-story looking in into the backyard. However, it has that lovely growing grass, and <laughs> grass and rentals do not bode well. So I am going to recommend that even though it looks beautiful to have this green, we either need to rock it, and we can rock it with big red rocks that will match the smaller red rocks over there. Or if you want to grant me a Christmas wish, you could do synthetic grass, and it would not break my heart. Because if you did synthetic grass all through here, you'll keep that green feel, and it will last forever, it won't die. But I do know that that's usually about two and a half uh, for the cost compared to what rock is. So John's going to give you what the estimate is for rock. If you want to investigate synthetic grass, we can always go and get some, some quotes for that. So over here is our covered patio. These things are neat because they're going to be blinds that come down. Uh, so tenants get to enjoy uh, this patio even when the sun is setting over into the west. They do have a misting system. We are going to call this misting system passes because misting systems don't necessarily last too long uh, in the sun. So as they're working, great, but as they fall apart and crack, very easy to remove. We can just remove it from here and then take it off the wall. But for now, we'll leave it. Love these two little coach lights um, out here on the back patio. So love it i think it's going to be great people will definitely appreciate that Hi, <laughs> hey, okay. no problem and again we've got some solar screens that are on all of the windows and the slider and we're going to leave them in this house because i think it's going to go nicely we're going to do this extra walk there we go all right let's move on in to our hallway area. <laughs> so I did make mention to John that we want to put new filters in there. It's an awkward spot for a new tenant walking in. Somebody would have to have a, a little taller ladder than normal. So we're going to start the tenancy off with a nice clean AC filter grate and filters. In here, love oh, these washer and dryers. Um, they even pay for the extra uh, shelving that is in here. These are drawers that open up for storage. So the fact that they are up is just so much easier to get your clothes in and out. Tenants are going to love it. Love this cool little door that says laundry. Just little things like that that make your house a little bit more like a home. In here is the garage. So I'm going to let you know because you guys can't smell things on your video. Um, it does smell like smoke. So we do have a garage where the cellar has smoked in it. Not going to affect a rental one bit. Nobody cares what your garage smells like is in law, unless it smells like poop or, you know, I don't know, urine or something. But if it's just smoke, they can leave that garage door open for a little while. This thing will just air out. Won't be a big deal. They do have epoxy flooring, which is really nice. That'll be easy to clean up. They actually do have a couple cabinets over there, which are awesome. Normally, in all my videos, if you've ever watched a video of mine, I have said, remove side water systems. In this case, I am going against that. We have a three canister soft water system that is like state of the art, super nice. Um, because I believe we're going to appeal to an empty nester on this house, I think they're going to like having soft water. So we are going to keep it the way it is. If we have any problems, we're going to put it as is on the lease, which means you are not entitled to have to fix it, but it is something that I think is really nice. Also notice that you've got um, some insulation on this garage too, which is really good. So I like this. This is a nice garage. And John's going to go backwards and see <laughs> if he can do it without tripping. Hi, little guy. Come back on the side. It's Yes, huh? <laughs> All right, so now we've got bedroom number one. Absolutely really nothing we have to do in here. Um, it looks great. There might be a little touch up in the bedrooms, just depending on what goes on, but it is great. This bathroom, the only thing I found in here is a little bit of caulking. 
It doesn't even really need it. It's just something that I think is going to make it look so much nicer. It's going to make it pop and feel fresh and new. Everything else in here is awesome. So clean too. Like it. In here, same thing. Maybe a little bit of touch up paint when nails come off the wall, but again, hardly anything. And then we're going to go here in the master. Now the master, what's cool about this, looks out onto that covered patio and onto all of the vegetation that's in that planter box. So I think this is a really peaceful master. Again, appealing to an empty nester. All of these things that you see, shelving, speaker, TV, all of it's gonna go. We are going to clean up the walls so that all the walls are just normal. Uh, that way when the tenant moves in, the tenant can do what they wanna do. Um, with their wall and I'm assuming that's probably going to be a TV wall, but we're going to not have the shelving up there dictating where everything is going. Solar screens again will stay on the windows. That's why this room feels a little bit dark, but if we are going with an empty nester, they are going to appreciate the power bills. So that's why we want to leave those on in this case. In this bathroom, the only thing that uh, John and I saw is we need to do a little bit of grouting within the tiles just to reinforce and make sure everything is good. There was a little bit of water damage at one point here. John doesn't think that it's still got water damage, but he's gonna check it out. Um, and then once he opens it up, do some kills on it and then close it back up and then hopefully it'll look like nothing ever even happened in here. So this is all very nice. I really, really, really like this property. Some of the neat things too is notice on the doors, the seller has gone in and meticulously painted the inside of all the raised panel doors. That's one of the reasons I'm not too keen on changing the color of the walls. Because if you change the color of walls, this is gonna look funny. But right now, this just actually looks like an accent that's really pretty cool. All right, so this is Hollinsworth. It is absolutely a phenomenal property. I'm excited that you guys get to, to get it and it'll be a great rental. And that's about all I have to say.